Harmon. And I'm Hannah Morrison, and we're both juniors from Gretna High School. And, and this I is our poll. You say no. <laughs> This is our poem entitled Dick, Dick and Jane. Jane. Dick was probably presented as a man to be. Jane was brought into this world as mommy's girl and daddy's prize. By the time I was and old enough yellow, to know my colors, yellow. I knew that I couldn't like pink. pink. The fastest cars were red, my bedroom a wave of baby blue, daddy's coat jacket dipped in jet black. As a three-year-old, a little sailor suit was all I needed to command the attention of every mom. And oh my god, how cute. Dick sailed boats. Mommy's dress cascaded in bright prints. I knew that my room was to be covered in purple flowers. My dress had a cascade with glitter. I put my hands into Mommy's makeup and immediately doused my cheeks in pink so that my face would resemble my doll's. By the time I was old enough to know better, I was told to act ladylike. Getting my hands dirty as sin, ripping my dress meant 20 bucks down the drain. Jane looked pretty. By the time I was old enough to star in select teams and make my father proud, I went to bat. Cleats were stained brown, four dollar shorts were tattered, but it didn't matter because every hole was well spent. Dick played the role of every sports position his father could get his hands on. Jane played guessing games. Because by the time I was old enough to dress myself, picking outfits, then picking what kind of attention I would receive, prolonged glances and peeking eyes. Jane learned the perfect ratio of clothing to bare skin, not showing too much but covering the dress, butt, stomach, bra straps. Bits of skin that would be considered a distraction. By the time I was able to dress myself, I walked a fine line between fashionable and feminine. If I put too much effort into my hair, I was called gay, but if I put it up into a bun, I was a revolutionary, a pioneer, the man bun, a superior hairstyle. As opposed to messy buns, which clearly means... She's given up. <laughs> Dick played a tricky game known as masculinity. masculinity. Jane played a game called trying really hard to not try too hard. In present day, I work hard to keep my grades up. When I get 100%, my friends celebrate me. But when I get 100%, I get called a kisser? Our kisses are meant to be cherished, but not if one party doesn't consent. Because after all, it's just a kiss. It's just a grab. It's, it's just, just locker room talk. By the time I was old enough to understand how this world works, I realized that men are raped too. But we can't admit that because men aren't allowed to be weak. Tick protected his sexuality like like a father protects his daughters, but Jane feels... Friend, when I walk into a room, Dick feels... Like I'm not man enough to please my father, we, we feel... feel... Like this poem won't change anything. But at some rate, don't, don't we have, have to try? try? Don't, don't we, we have, have to rewrite these stories? stories? Because Dick... And Jane have to learn, learn to speak, speak up for each, each other. other.